I very distinctly heard the word of the Lord say, there are two realities that my people can walk in. Two realities that my people can walk in. Now, he wasn't talking about walking in the realities of going to heaven or going to hell one day because his people are going to heaven. But he said, my people have a choice. Two realities my people can walk in. And he said, you choose which one will be yours. And he began to deal with me about the greater reality. There is a reality here but there's a greater reality here. Jeremiah 17 was where he immediately took me in the spirit. Verse five of Jeremiah 17 says, cursed is the man who trusts in man, who makes flesh his strength or his arm, who leans to flesh. That man, that woman lives under a curse, maybe born again when they die, going to heaven, they live under a curse. But verse seven says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope or whose strength is in the Lord, whose security is in the Lord, cursed or blessed. And God said, the decision is yours. It's mine. What will we choose? Reminds me of, of the Andy Griffith show when uh, you remember when the drunk would come stumbling in, Otis, he'd come stumbling in to the, to the place and he'd walk up and, and get the key and find the door and then find the, uh, the lock and stick it in there. And you remember all that? And he'd go in and he'd lock himself in the jail cell and then he'd reach over and hang the key up on the peg there he is behind bars, but who put him there? He put himself there. His own choices put him in that limited place. And I want to challenge you to ask God to search your heart and to reveal to you any area in your life and your thinking where you're like Otis, drunk, drunk on the cares of this life, drunk on the issues of this life and, and locking yourself up. Jesus came to set you free. He's thrown the prison cell doors wide open with what he accomplished. But you can keep locking yourself up. You can keep limiting yourself. But I challenge you, let's live in the greater reality in this year. It's up to you. God's grace will get you into the greater reality.